Hello, I'm David Cahill, professor in the Material Science and Engineering Department, and welcome to this introduction to my research group. We are an experimental group that studies thermal energy transport across all classes of materials. Molecular transport in polymeric materials, ion transport in batteries, and spin transport in magnetic materials. We collaborate with experts in specific systems and work to synthesize new materials, characterize their structure and chemistry, and we use tools that are unique to our group to study the transport physics that governs the performance of materials and applications in thermal management, energy conversion and storage and separations. The video segments that follow provide an introduction to a couple of examples. One synthesis method, the sputter deposition of thin films, one analytical method, ion beam analysis, and two measurement tools, frequency domain probe beam deflection, and the go-to tool of our group, time domain thermal reflectance. Feel free to reach out to me by email at d-cahill at illinois.edu if you'd like to further explore research opportunities in our group. This is our magnetron sputter system. We use a mechanical pump and a turbo pump to keep the vacuum in the chamber to be below 10 to negative 7 torr. The target atoms here are deposited onto the substrate, which is fixed on a manipulator here. The deposited thin film is usually used as a transducer in the TDTR measurement. This is the NEC Palatron accelerator used for Rutherford backscattering spectrometry and nuclear reaction analysis. There are two ion sources. The ions are generated here and then rotated and picked up by a small magnet. Then the ion beam is focused. Then the ion beam is accelerated through this palatron accelerator. This is a big magnet used to pick up which ions we want. And finally, the ion beam bombards the sample here. This is the vacuum chamber and uh, the manipulator used to carry the sample. We get the spectra by a typical software on this computer, and we analyze that on another computer. This is our newly built pump probe system called Frequency Domain Probe Beam Deflection. The difference between this FDPPD system and the TDTR system is that the two beams have beam offset, which is controlled by this instrument. Instead of measuring the thermal reflectance, we are measuring the beam deflection by this detector. As a result, we can finish the measurement of the thermal diffusivity of transparent samples. We have two TDTR systems in MRL. TDTR is the abbreviation of time domain thermal reflectance. It is a pump probe technique to measure the thermal conductivity of materials. We have a femtosecond laser. The laser is split into a pump beam and a probe beam. The pump beam is modulated by an electro-optic modulator, and it heats the sample to produce a temperature jump. The probe beam is to detect the thermal reflectance from the sample. The signal is finally picked up here by a silicon photodetector and a RF locking amplifier. Then we also use a LabVIEW software to record the data and also control the whole system. Finally, we get the information of thermal properties.